Hey guys, welcome back to Scream Queen Stream. I'm going to be sharing with you today my interview, albeit short, but I was really happy to be able to have the opportunity to speak to Amber Benson at the Nightmare Gallery screening in Los Angeles, California. So if you're not familiar with Amber, you probably would recognize her from Buffy, but she's done a bunch of really cool projects. She's also directed, she's written, she writes books, and I really respect her as a woman working today in the industry in all of her capacity. I also really like her acting. I think she's so incredibly talented. In the Nightmare Galleries, she plays Dr. Samantha Rand, who is a woman that is going through a very difficult time trying to juggle her relationship and a new set of circumstances. I try not to blow anything away. Uh, and I really appreciated not only how her character went through her journey, but also all the details that she gave to her relationship. So I definitely encourage you to check out the movie. I'm going to put a link down below. A shout out to Jean Blaylock for inviting me. I really appreciated it. And here is my interview with Amber. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jessica Cameron and I am here with the stunning and talented Miss Amber Benson. That's me. <laughs> so we just saw the Nightmare Gallery and I really want to take a moment and talk with you about how beautifully you portrayed this really dynamic, really authentic relationship with your female it was so touching, it was so endearing, and I love the fact that it was so realistic, believable, and not overly sexualized. So let's talk. Um, well, number one, I have the hottest wife in the film ever. <laughs> yes. uh, not only is she incredibly beautiful inside and out, she's also super talented. Mieko is just, just working with her was a dream. I didn't have to do anything. I just looked at her and started crying because she's so much emotion. Everything, you know, was just right there at the surface. We were going through the very emotional scenes. She is so wonderful and we had such a good time working together. But like you were saying, it's super nice to see a lesbian couple where they're intimate and they are, you know that they have a sexual relationship, but that is not the focus. It's not two women making out so much of guys who go, woo woo! It's about two people who happen to be the same gender, who fell in love with each other, and even though they're going through a very dark time in their relationship, they still love each other. And what is it about this project that drew you to it? Um, I just loved the script the first time I read it. I loved my character. I just felt like Samantha, she just, she had such an incredible arc. And she goes through so much dark stuff. Can I say shit? Dark, yeah, dark shit. A lot of dark, I was like, dark stuff? She goes through a lot of dark shit and, and kind of comes out the other side of it. And you're like, well, was she better for that journey or not? We don't know. <laughs> But, but it is an incredible arc and an incredible journey, and I, I really just love the script. Speaking about journeys, you and your career has had such a journey. Obviously, I think most people know you It's like a coffee. roller coaster. It is. Up, down, up, down. But you know, love these you've people. also done everything behind the scenes imaginable, including directing and producing. You've done plays. You've done graphic novels. How, first of all, how do you have the time to do all the above? What is it that you love most? Oh, my God. That's not fair. That's like, that's like, <laughs> that's Sophie's choice. Of, of, yes, I should not say that. That's terrible. Um, my boyfriend is over there going, you can't talk about Sophie's choice. Um, no, but it is like choosing your, you know, picking your darlings like I, or killing your darlings. I love all the things that I do and it's really hard to choose one, but I love writing. And I, I don't know how I, I do it all. I just, you know, want to pay my bills and I just want to be occupied, and, you know, busy. Now, one of the things that I love that you do is directing, and I am such a fan of women behind the film. I think we need more of them. Oh, I'm yeah. so thankful that Hollywood is finally getting their ass in gear and doing that. So. Do you have plans to direct anything in the future? Um, I, I don't as of right now, but I am. Uh, I have a book series called The Witches of Echo Park that my friend Mo Perkins and I, she and I are developing it, and uh, both of us would like to direct some of the episodes. So. Uh, anything else you'd like to promote before we let you go and do your other interviews? Um, just stay political. I know the midterms were awesome, but don't rest on your laurels. Keep going out there and doing and being active and don't let bad, bad people do bad things. Stand up. Awesome. Thank you. 
I hope you liked that video. My apologies again for the sound. I know that it's not ideal. Sometimes when I am shooting in public spaces, I can only do so much about the surroundings, unfortunately. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I have one more interview coming up with another cast member from the Nightmare Gallery. I will put a link in the description box where you can find out more about the project, Jean's career, and also Miss Amber Benson herself. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like button down below and subscribe. And also 10 billion bonus points if you join our Patreon. Patreon, which helps me produce weekly content for you around everything indie, everything horror, everything I love.